All right, so we're gonna hook up a OBD2 Bluetooth to a Husky 701 Enduro. Things that you'll need is an eight millimeter socket, wrench, a the Bluetooth module itself, and the adapter cable. I have a Euro 5 one here and a regular KTM Husky. I'll be using the regular one as I don't have a Euro 5 model. So first off, we're gonna have to take off the seat to access um, the area, the plug is under the computer and mounting plate there. So we'll get to that first. Again, I'm gonna be using the normal KTM Husky plug, not the Euro 5 as I have a 2018. And then we have our Bluetooth module. This is one that I just laying around and happened to work. So looking a little bit closer, here's your computer. We're going to pull this off of the tabs. Um, it has a little rubber backing that slips over two metal tabs. We'll remove that first. You have two eight millimeter screws that you'll have to take off to remove the plate. To remove the plate, push back, lift up, and it comes right off as well. Now I'll zoom in and show you the connector that's tucked behind the battery. You just want to pull up. It's just housed in there in a little pocket. And we'll take this cap off. So pull off the cap. And we'll now connect our adapter to the Bluetooth module and then plug it in. Now let's do a test. I'm just going to lay this right here. We'll tidy all this up and put this back together in reverse order as well. Um, mine happens to tuck right in behind the battery between uh, the fuses and relays. So start your bike up and your LEDs, if you have them, should turn on and mine turns solid red showing power. All right, so next up, we're gonna show you how to pair your OBD2 dongle to the DMD device, real simple. A few ways you can do this. First, we gotta pair it via Bluetooth, so make sure your Bluetooth is on. You can swipe down from the top, swipe down again. You see you have your Bluetooth option, it is on. Just tap it if it's off. A few ways you can go into the setting gear from here. I also have the setting gear as a shortcut on my main screen. Go into settings, go into connected devices. We want to make sure now we turn our bike on to give power to the dongle. So we're going to do that next. Power on. In a second, it should show up. You go ahead and say pair new device. There we go. So OBD2, select it. Yours may be called something different. Typically they come with a default um, password from the factory potentially. It says here, you know, four zeros or one, two, three, four. Mine just so happens to be one, two, three, four for this one. Can say okay. All right, so it's now paired to the DMD device. Next up, we want to go to our data screen. On mine is the third button on the right on the bottom here. Again, I'd already paired this. Um, you go to the settings here. The first option is select ELM327 Bluetooth device. Click on that. Make sure your paired device is checked, which mine already is. And you're done. So it's now showing my coolant temp, it's showing my voltage. If I turn the bike on, the RPMs will start showing. 
and that's all you gotta do. So hopefully it's that easy. Um, again, for any recommended devices, you can go on the website that's listed. Um, I just so happen to have this dongle laying around and it happened to work. So I go ahead and crank up the bike. You can see now my RPMs are showing on my home screen, that's on my map screen. You can see the RPM showing there, home screen. I have the RPM showing uh, at the bottom as well. So everything working as it should. So, cool. Alright, so real fast, I want to show you the website. So, drivemodedashboard.com. If you're unsure if your motorcycle is compatible to work with this with a dongle or what dongle you may need to get, uh, there is some information on the website. If you go to info, you go to OBD2 compatibility. They'll have some links to uh, a forum, to cables, and then below you can see the tested motorcycle models are listed along with the dongles as well.